Hi. Why am I about to turn the volume up? Like that's going to help anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about like kind of like little finishing touches. Um, not anything that I would recommend doing all at once. Just, you know, little tiny finishing touches that we can do. I have a, a new iced coffee cup. A cat in my house broke the other one. Um, I'll let a couple people join. Um, hi, Anna. <laughs> um, but I have some old stuff that I've always loved that I'm always talking about, um, like this sweater, uh, which is unfortunately sold out. Um, and I have some new stuff that I'm really excited about. So I'm going to go through the new stuff first. Um, as far as just, you know, little, uh, little teeny touches. Um, okay. I'll, I'm obsessed with them. So I'll, let me talk about my earrings first. Um, where are they? Okay. So these are by, um, House of Jewels, Miami. These are this, these little smiley face huggies. I just think they're so cute. Um, and so no, you're not getting to see this like without these final touches, but I just like like a little, little shimmer, little shimmer of something. They're really cute. Um, little smiley faces. I just love how simple they are. I'll show you, I'll take it out so you can see what it looks like. Um, but it's just a little huggy, so it's really close to your ear. And this is just the clasp, like that. Um, super easy, super affordable, which I really like. Um, it's all like gold plated. Um, the House of Jewels Miami stuff that I got um, came in this really cute little like green bag, um, which I really like. And um, wow, my voice went really high there. And, um, oh, that was the other thing they mention on here, which I always like to see. They mentioned here, um, that the earrings and stuff are water friendly, hypoallergenic, allergenic and water friendly. And I am someone who, if I can wear something in a pool or in a lake or something, if I don't have to take out my earrings, then like I'm having a good day. Um, because I'm usually wearing earrings, but see, even if I step back, you can like kind of see them. That's sort of what I'm saying. Like, I just like a little, like, little added something. Now I'm hitting them like I'm a cat. Um, so I just really like these. And then, I mean, I have a lot of piercings, so let's not, we don't have to get into that. Um, but I have these teeny studs, too, right here. I'm going to present those. They are a higher price point. I'll tell you why. Um, <laughs> So these are these little studs um, by Elliot Young. I love them so much. I wear them every single day. Um, I actually bought them um, from a different live stream by um, the Peyton Project. Peyton, I love her so much. And she was talking about how um, most millennial women don't have real gold. And I was like, of course I don't. Why would I have real gold? Uh <laughs> And she convinced me to get these. Um, so they have like a little diamond in there. They're a little celestial um, thing. I'm literally not going to put my ear up that close to you guys. Um, but if you click on um, the item, you can sort of see they have different versions. They have like a, I think a ruby and emerald. Um, but you can check it out. It's a really good live stream deal, actually. Right now it's two fifty. I wear them every single day. Obviously, that's a lot of money, and it was like a a decision that I really thought about, uh, <laughs> like a lot. But I seriously, I wear them every single day. So you have this little e, and then I have a little huggy, and then I wear these. Um, and then now, my new little smiley face guys. Um, I just love these so much. Um, so highly recommend. Even though yes, they're expensive. I looked at it as an investment piece because I know myself and I need studs and I wear them all the time. I also, I have had non gold studs that do affect my ears and stuff. So I really like these as far as like, I know that it's not going to do anything weird to my ears. They're super, super cute. I have been trying for like weeks since I got them to post a picture of them. And I literally, I can't take a good picture of my ears. So you just have to kind of imagine from here they're these little, these little tiny guys, you know, 
beautiful. Um, again, just to recap, um, what I'm going to talk about today is just kind of like finishing touches, uh, for lack of a better term. <laughs> I did link my sweater. It's by Stout. It's out of stock, sadly. I'm so sorry. Stout. Stout. I said that weird. Um, it's out of stock, but I really like it, so you get to look at it. Um, so yeah, these are the little Elliot Young um, studs. I really check their, their stuff out. It's, they're local to LA. It's um, all handmade, like fine jewelry. So it's like real gold, diamonds, all that stuff. It's really, really great. I know it's expensive. I'm so sorry to hit you with that on a Thursday. Oh, it's only out of stock in a medium. Kirsty. thank you. Oh my goodness. Let me just present another expensive thing, my sweater. Um, just kidding. Um, no. <laughs> but this is like an investment sweater right and I do I live in LA I don't need like super heavy sweaters but I do need sweaters and I've been trying to not like invest in sweaters unless I think that I'm gonna really wear them and this is something that I wear all the time I'm guessing I bought a medium and so that's why it was showing us the stock to me <laughs> you can't get my size but apparently other sizes are in stock um, but I got this similarly with a live stream discount and I really like it. I wear it all the time. I just, I know it's something that I'm going to keep coming back to and I can layer under it. And so it really was worth it for me. Um, oh, but today we're talking about like little finishing touches. This is not stuff that I recommend like doing all at once. Like I have a couple different like lip things. Like I have a couple different things, but just lots of little accent pieces to your normal outfit. That's what the vibe is here right now. Accent pieces to that. Um, I, it's like a mixture of stuff that I've had for a long time and really love and stuff that's brand new to me, like these little guys. Um, and let me just close the loop on my little House of Jewels Miami and show you my necklace. I'm always wearing a necklace or five. Um, today I'm just wearing this one because I wanted you to really be able to see it. Um, you know, it's a little short. It's um, Zodiac. I'm a Virgo. So I love getting everything in Virgo, obviously. Um, so that's what this is. And I just think it's really cute. It's really cute as like a gift with the live stream deal. It's only $28.90, which is pretty good. Um, it's just like a nice little, um, my hair is stuck in it. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, it's just a nice little necklace, really sweet. And as I said before, with my earrings that are also by them, the two, the, I got them together and they came in this little cute pouch that I love. Um, I just really like it. I think that's really nice. I just, I love stuff like that. And so this is um, hypoallergenic as well. It's 18 karat gold plated. Um, it's just like a very reasonable, very reasonable price point. It's very nice, like little necklace. And it's really good for layering because it's really short, um, short length. So I would definitely do this with, you know, some longer pieces and maybe, you know, a choker or something. Um, I really like it. I just think anything that's in like Zodiac, like probably someone is going to like, do you know what I mean? Like what a good Valentine's day present, like just like under $30. And it's just, just like, just get someone their little, their little Zodiac as a little necklace. I also just really love gold jewelry. So I literally will. I'm just like, I'm always looking for gold jewelry. So that's what that is. <laughs> um, and then, okay. I think all of the coffee hit my head right at the same time, just like instantly together. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the new stuff I have. So here's this. I cannot properly explain to you how obsessed with this I am. Um, Kylie made me hip to this, uh, go follow her, Kylie Smith. Um, it's the IGK Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I have always sort of just like bought the same dry shampoo or just kind of like tried whatever. Do you know what I mean? And this changed my life. I literally, it got like delivered to my house. I like tried it in the mirror, a mirror that I have down here. 
And I was just like, couldn't stop raving about it. Like, I was like, this is the best thing I've ever used in my life. Um, it's really nice. I don't know how to explain how nice the packaging is. Like, it just sort of like fits right in your hand. And now, like today was not a hair wash day. I did that thing where you like, I like get, I like conditioned my hair. I don't wash it. You know what I mean? And then this is what we are dealing with. Um, but it does, I have dark hair and my hair is dyed even darker. If you look at my roots, you can see that I'm actually a light brunette <laughs> in real life. So this does come out lighter. It does come out like white. And so I'm really trying to, I do more like of a that. And then run it through because when I put it right on my part, as I would normally dry shampoo that doesn't show up, um, I really have to like work it in then. Otherwise it just straight up looks like my whole part is gray. Whereas actually it's just that it's light brown and I need to go to get my hair done. It's coming up. Don't worry. Um, I just really like it. It smells really nice. It's like salon fresh and it's just like a nice, this is like always my like final zhuzh when I'm out the door, like before I'm out the door. It's just like, let me just put some dry shampoo in my hair and then everything will be just fine. Right? I don't know. It does something. I can't explain it. Just get it and then try it and just feel how like nice it is. It's just like really satisfying, satisfying to touch. I'm going to burn through everything because I'm so hyper right now. <laughs> Speaking of satisfying to the touch, uh, <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. So I just got this Natasha Moore lipstick. Take three guesses. Who showed it to me? Kylie. Okay. <laughs> Literally, Kylie tells me something, and I'm like, great. That sounds awesome. Um, I am the most influenced by Kylie. <laughs> Um, but I really like this. So first of all, I just realized that I didn't even take off. This is so new. I didn't even take off the film here so that you can use this as a mirror. There we go. Wait, watch. Okay. Now we're the satisfying thing. And then look at this little mirror to check. Oh my goodness. Obsessed with this. I love this so much. So this is Silk Suede Lipstick. It's in Respect. It's by Natasha Moore. Watch this. Prepare to get your mind blown. It's the cutest thing. I love it so much. It like pops out. There's a button and it's like, I am obsessed with this. Um, I really, I struggle with actual lipstick rather than gloss because... I just do. I'm just like not great at putting it on always. Um, but I really like this color. Also, just to be clear with you, it's hit or miss if I can like put lipstick on. So I have a mirror next to me and I'm going to try. <laughs> but it doesn't always work. I'm just being, I'm here to be honest with you and it just doesn't always work. But let me just try. Um, it's just a really nice color. I did already break it break the uh, tip. You know how when you first get lipstick, it's like got such a nice little point. It's already broken off, but that's because I am a monster. And my grandmother never taught me how to put lipstick on. Um, <laughs> lipstick was like the only thing my grandma used to put, my one grandma used to put on. And so I would watch it and I would always like smell her lipstick. I like love the smell of lipstick, but she didn't do other makeup, so, you know, it's always just this. But see, this is just like, and then it's just, you're tied together. I have little gold jewelry. I've got that. Did I do a great job putting the lipstick on? No, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's a nice, it's like a nice suede kind of feeling. Let me show you the color. I'll just put it on my, see? It's just like a very nice, very nice color, very nice lipstick. And I, I don't know. I can't get over this. Maybe that's why the thing is already messed up because I because <laughs> I've done it so much. I just keep clicking it. Maybe that's why. We don't know. We're never gonna know. 
Um, okay. Another new thing I want to talk about is some shoes. I'm going to present the ones I have. It said on my end that they were out of stock, but per Kirstie's earlier point, maybe they're just out of stock in my size. I was not smart enough to check that before. Um, but I got them so, so recently that I still have the box that they came in. So this is by Intentionally Blank. Um, they're a shoe company in LA. I have always wanted to try them. I like walked past their brick and mortar store once and they had these really cute shoes um, that were called Albany and I'm from Schenectady, which is upstate New York, which is right next to Albany. And I got very excited and it felt like kismet, but I didn't buy them. <laughs> um, but now I have these. So I finally have some shoes from Intentionally Blank and these are white. I mean, I love these. Just a backless loafer. I wouldn't normally wear shoes in the house, obviously, everybody. However, to show you, I will put these shoes on in my home. Um, I just really like them. I love loafers lately. Can you see this at all? No. Here, just close your, um, if you close the arrow down at the bottom, then you should be able to see these through the chat. But I'll bring them up here and show you them. Um, I just love these so much. I love that they're backless. It makes it just sort of like extra effortless. Um, you know, it has this like croc detailing on here. Um, and there's also um, a green color that I don't have. But as soon as I got these, I was like, shoot, should I have also gotten them in green? They also have this apple one. So I have the white, which I just presented before. And then here is apple just brilliant. I just love these so much. Um, I literally just throw these on all the time. So now even if I'm wearing like, look, I put jeans on, but really what I was wearing today was, you know, like workout pants. <laughs> We're all friends here. We can be honest with each other. Um, and then if I just throw these on, it's like, oh, I at least like did something. Do you know what I mean? I really, I can't figure out how to show this to you, but do you see them under the chat a little bit? They're really nice. Um, I have kind of big feet. I'm very, I'm short. I'm like five, four and a half. Um, but I wear like a nine or 10. So these are a 10 um, from them, but they fit great. Those are like, right. So I would say like true to size slash like on the bigger end of sizes that you wear is probably what you need. But I would just check the size chart because I always get confused with shoe sizes, especially when it's shoe sizes from like, you know, France versus the UK and all of that stuff. Okay. Okay. The other, this is the last new thing I have new to me, not new to everybody. Um, and this is over here. Okay. So this is a blush cream. It's by skin by Ella Rose. See, I literally, I just got it yesterday. And then I was like, I'm doing this live immediately. Um, <laughs> look, some days are a lot of packages come in and then you get really excited and you're like, I have to do a live stream instantly. And that's what I did. Um, so this is, um, skin by Ella Rose. Um, this is the Palomino blush cream. Um, it's, I love a cream blush. First of all, if you've followed any of my lives, like I, I don't really know how to do makeup as evidenced by my lipstick application just now. Um, but I know how to do like stuff with my hands. Like if I can tr control it with my hands, it's good. And I really like a cream blush just for like a little added something. I always thought that I didn't need blush because I tend to, to turn red in general, but I really like, I really like using blush. So let me just show you what it looks like. My hand a little bit. This is too much. See, this tube is going to last me forever. Um, this is too much, but this is what it looks like. Whoa. See? It is, like, very, very thick. So this is enough for, like, mm, I don't know, like, 20 applications or something. I'm literally going to have this forever stuck in my hand. But it's a really pretty color. And then I'm just going to very gently get off a lot of the product and then just put some right here. Oh, let me use my added mirror. 
See? Just a little. I really like it. It's um it's really nice. It's also like like part skincare, part makeup. Like it's good for your skin. It's not going to do anything crazy to you. Obviously, I haven't tested this. I literally just got it, but I just really like it and I really like cream blush. And I really like when stuff a little goes a long way. And like, as you can see, I literally put almost nothing on there. And that's like incredible results as far as like, I have a lot, a lot on there. And look at all this product that I accidentally squeezed out because I wanted you to see it. Let me get a tissue and I'll be right back. Um, I just wanted to show you really like how thick it is. It's just sort of really impressive. Like what's actually going on there um, with that. And so those are all my new things that I haven't tried out. Let me just quickly, not quickly, quickly, but you know, let me just show you some of my tried and true things that are all in this vein. Remember what we're talking about here is kind of like little quick add-ons to like complete an outfit, right? So I have these earrings and this necklace um, by House of Jewels Miami. This lipstick by Natasha Moore. I just put on my little blush um, from Skin by Ella Rose. And then I have my intentionally blank loafers. So it's like, I'm already, it's like jeans and a sweater and then all those added things. And then it's like, we're all ready. We're good to go. We've got like a lot of other stuff going on. Um, so one thing that I am, am wearing right now and I'm always wearing is my Sigma Beauty Tint and Tame Brow Gel. I've talked about this 1,000 times before. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I really care about brow gel and I really, I really like try them out and try to see what ones work for me. Um, mine is in medium. And then with this too, you really don't need a lot of product on it. This is like almost a brand new tube because I already finished the first one I had. And I already put this on this morning. Um, I really take off like most of the product from it um, because I have pretty full brows as it is, but it's just really nice, a little added color and to also brush it at the same time because I'm always brushing my eyebrows basically, even if I'm like do it sometimes just with my fingers. See? It's just perfect. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay. And then one thing that we know I'm always carrying is my moon bag. Look, I've got it in black. Black would work with this outfit. I've got my white sneak white uh, loafers with a black detail, you know, great lamo. I love the moon bag. I always talk about it. Um, it's just really like sleek and classic and holds everything that you need. I know that you might be skeptical of that, but I swear it's like way deeper than you think. Um, holds everything that I need in here um, perfectly. And so that's in, in black. And I also linked it in brown because yeah, I have both colors. I don't want to talk about it. Look, I've also got it in brown. I love the brown. I think the brown is beautiful. I just really, I'm n I've never really been a purse, purse person. I usually am like a tote bag person, <laughs> you know, because who doesn't have like 1 million tote bags? But then I got these and I was just like, maybe I'm a purse, purse person. Like, it's just really nice. You can just hold it, hold it like this. You can put it over your shoulder, you can carry it like this. It's just like, it's really versatile. Um, it is open all in the front, in the top. So you just have to make sure that you're not, you know, swinging it upside down. I'm not usually doing that anyway, so it hasn't been a problem for me. But in case that's your deal, I just want to warn you, don't do that. Um, okay, and then I've talked about this before too. This is the Smith & Call Hydro Gloss. Oh boy, do I love this. This is Dusty Mauve. It's this Dusty Mauve color. Perfectly described, really. Um, and then it's like this, just a little lip gloss. I mean, I love lip gloss. What, what can I say? Um, so I could even, it's really pigmented and shimmery sheer. And I really can, I have lipstick on. I really can put this over it. I don't think I would normally, 
But just to show you what's going on. Okay, just a little added gloss to this. This isn't gonna show you the real color because I have lipstick on underneath. So this is the real color right here. It's really shimmery. It's just a really nice color. I really like the feel of it. I love a lip gloss. It's so easy to just kind of like throw in your bag, add to your routine. I literally use this all the time. It's like the label is coming off. It's just always in my purse. It's always in this purse, literally. Um, so I'm always using it in there. It's always there. Um, also, I have these Drilling Forever um, hoops. If you don't want these little um, House of Jewels Miami um, huggies, which I am obsessed with, um, here's just a standard hoop, you know? You always need a gold hoop. I just, I say that, and I am of the opinion that I need like five pairs of gold hoops at any point. These are a really good option, easy to throw on, whatever. And then just like my dry shampoo, the dry texturizing spray by Oribe, I love so much. Yes, you definitely need different size hoops, that's true. Because I could move this up to this one and then I could wear both for a little extra boldness, which I like. Um, the dry texturizing spray, I always like put on. It's just sort of like the last part of my routine no matter what. Um, and then the Say Do Balm, obsessed. This is in rosy gold. And then let me show you on my other hand because now I've put so much on this hand. It really comes up out like a balm. Like I really want you to understand it's like, it's thick. <laughs> um, let's see. And then just a little, just a little added sheer, shimmer. Just a little added shimmer. So I would do just of this, you know, just add it a little bit. I just like it. And it feels like a bomb. Like it feels like just nice, creamy, sort of hydrating addition to anything. I really like it. Um, here, let me just get through because I do have to go soon. Let me get to this. Um, this is the Exa Beauty Light Show Color Melt. Obsessed with this. This is crazy. So it's all shimmer um, eyeshadow. This is called Dream Phone. It literally says, apply with your fingertips. We know I love that. Love to hear it. Um, let dry and repeat until you reach your desired intensity. So that's really the main thing with this. You really need to like let it dry. I'm horrible at doing that. But you really do need to like sit there. I'll show you how it squeezes out. See? So that's way too much, first of all. Um but then it's just a shimmer, a nice shimmer. It's really intense, but you have to like put it on in one swipe, let it dry completely and then add more. Otherwise you're just kind of rubbing it off. But see, that's the kind of level of shimmer that you can have, which I love. I'm not gonna put it on my eyes right now because I am definitely going to mess it up and I don't wanna do that, but just look at that. It's really, it's really good. If you can figure out any tips on how to do it <coughs> better, please let me know. But please get it, Kirsty, and then teach me what to do. Um, but really, I just sit there and I like put it on as best I can, like hold, 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 <laughs> like wait for it to dry and then have to add more. If you want more, maybe you just want a little, a little bit, who knows? Um, and then I think that's, gosh, I think that's all it is. I just want to represent my two, um, House of Jewels Miami things. Cause I did those right at the top. So these are the little smiley huggies, which I just am absolutely obsessed with. I love them so much. I'm going to be wearing them all the time. I just know, love them. And then also I have these Elliot Young studs. Um, they're real gold, real diamonds, you know, cutest thing. They're $250 with the sale. I chose to get them as an investment and it's really paid off. I literally wear them every single day. Um, cause I have like four piercings on this side, two on this side, and then 
<laughs> these other ones. It's four and four, but like they're in different spots. Um, anyway, I love these studs. And then let me just show you my Zodiac necklace. And then this is also House of Jewels Miami. This is my little Virgo Zodiac necklace. Love, what a nice present. It's $28.90, the live stream deal. Um, I have to run. I hope you found some stuff that you like. Add everything to your bag, um, please. I have most of the stuff saved in collections, so you can also check it out there. Um, great. Thanks for joining. Uh, hope you had fun. Bye.